Hi guys, my name is Kaylee Juzik and I'm the owner here at Destiny Equine. Today on our Tidbit Tuesday, we are going to answer some questions from some of our followers on Instagram. So a question that I get asked a lot is primarily what do I do and how do I get started in that? A lot of young girls ask me that who are looking for a career in the horse industry and we just want to help them out to give them a little bit more of a idea on what we can do. I am super proud to say that I am an electro scope and myopulse therapist and I am also an equine massage therapist. I got certified through Animal Therapy Systems last November. It is a two week long course and I got certified through Molly Wells who is amazing. She is totally my mentor and the person I look up to in the horse industry. She does an amazing job and she gives her 100%. I would not want to learn from anyone else. She does an awesome job and she learned from the wonderful Joyce Jackson. She's amazing. She's the owner of Animal Therapy Systems. If you guys want more information, go to their website. They are amazing. For my equine massage certificate, I went through Gary Whiting Equine Massage School. He did a great job in teaching you the basics of the muscles and how they all work together to keep the horse's body moving healthily. I had such a great time at Gary's School, it was an experience of a lifetime, I wouldn't take it back for anything. If you want more information, go to his website, he does a great foundation for equine massage. Another question I get asked all the time is if I do any horse chiropractic. I personally do not, I love chiropractic, totally believe in it. Something people have a hard time understanding is the difference between equine chiropractic and equine massage. Chiropractic is purely the bones snapping bones back into place, getting everything aligned to where it's supposed to be. Massage is softening up the muscles, assisting the bones so that the horse is able to move out correctly. So something I recommend to my clients is that they get their horses massaged first because when you think about it, if the horse's muscles are tight when you pop their bones back into place, chances are the muscles are going to pull the bones right back into the spot that they were in. That is something that I can't stress enough because I hear all the time that people get their horses chiropractic and then they have to take them back in a couple weeks and they keep taking them back and they don't understand why it's taking so long for the bones to set. So something I recommend very, very highly is that you get your horses massaged first and then you get them chiropractic and if you can't even get them massaged after. That is something that I can't stress enough to you guys. Okay, so a question I get asked all the time is what kind of schooling my um, certifications involve? And I talked to you guys a little bit about that and I also get asked what people have to do to be a horse chiropractor. So in the state of Nevada, you have to either be a licensed veterinarian or a licensed human chiropractor who has also gone to equine chiropractic school. Usually that is the rule across the country. I'm not sure if there's a couple of states in there where that's not followed as much, but that is our rule here in the state of Nevada. So you guys will have to talk to your horse chiropractors and see if that's something you're interested in. I totally recommend going and following your vets and your chiropractors. They love that. They love teaching people and helping you go and chase your dream. So just ask them what the rule is for your state and make sure that you're following all the rules. Another question that girls ask me is if you can make a living off of what I do. Absolutely. Anything that you do in life, what you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. If you want to be successful, you're going to be successful at it. And it depends on the area that you're in, how much money that you're going to be making. In big horsey areas, I know I have a friend that's up in Chicago and she just makes a ton of money. She's an equine massage therapist also and also a certified electro acuscope myopulse therapist. I know the barns up there, everything is way more expensive than it is here in Nevada. It totally just depends on how much of a need there is and how much people are willing to pay. It, it just varies. There's just a huge variety of what the prices is prices are in the area that you're in as opposed to Southern California, to Nevada, to Oregon. You just have to check around and see and you might have to relocate if this is something you really want to do. You have to be willing to go to Texas or wherever. Wherever you want to chase your dreams, you have to sometimes make that scary jump and move to a new place and make those new contacts. As scary as it is, it is so worth it and it is a great experience. And 
I totally recommend it. I personally haven't done it, but I know so many people that have had to relocate and it's terrifying. You have to make new friends and you have to leave your family. But in the long run, it is so worth it because you get to have that experience of getting out there and chasing your dream. Something so many people are scared to do these days, but you have to do it. You don't want to look back and say, wow, I wish that I would have tried that when I was younger. Trust me, I get that all the time from my friends. They're like, go to school, keep pushing, don't give up. You guys have to keep trying and just make those scary jumps. You, it was going to be so worth it in the end. Something else that I can't press enough is continuing your guys' education. I have a couple of certifications, but I'm also going to school, having a backup plan, I'm going to be a business major, and that is my goal to just finish school even though I already own my own business, I just want to expand my knowledge. You can always keep learning. Try to make it a goal that you continue your education every year, just take the class at a community college, get certified in something. Yes, certifications are a little bit on the pricey side, but it's so worth it. That is one thing that no one in the world can take away from you is your knowledge. So make sure that you guys keep pushing yourselves, keep learning, keep trying new things. It is so worth it. I can't recommend it enough. I hope that you guys go and try it. Okay, that wraps up today's Tidbit Tuesday. I hope that you guys got some of your questions answered. So make sure to go subscribe to our videos, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, I love doing this. Keep the questions coming on all the social media and I will make videos to answer them. Thank you guys. Have a good day.